Hey, I'm Omar Malul and you're watching Israeli Krav Maga, the show that analyzes real-life scenarios caught on tape. Let's dive into our first scenario. Leo, let's see what we got. Thank you. So here we have a CCTV footage caught at night in uh, London. Uh, we can see there we have a guy simply walking down the street and another guy from the back. Classic nightmare of a person that is walking down the street and here it's being attacked completely unprovoked um, from the back with a knife stabs towards the stomach, towards the chest and here the attacker is simply running away. Let's see what can we learn out of this scenario. Well, we have an attacker coming from the back, okay? The guy is simply walking the street uh, at nighttime and then out of nowhere, completely unprovoked, being attacked from the back with a knife. The guy kind of turns towards him, but is already falling on the ground and the attacker is running away. The guy was stabbed 10 times, not less than that. So from the back, Leo, you're attacking. First stab, of course, that I don't have the chance I'm being surprised from the back. Now, when you're turning towards him and you understand you're in trouble, here we have a technique that might help you. So one more time, we'll do it quick. Being stabbed, oh, oh, Okay, so let's see what happened here. Leo is attacking me from the back, first stab, maybe second. I am not always able to protect myself. Now, of course, that even one or two stabs might be severe, um, injuring you. But as we can see from uh, real life scenarios, that even people who've been stabbed with the adrenaline, they're able to keep functioning. And in our own scenarios, as we see, uh, that the guy actually swore, was able to survive this incident. So even if you're being stabbed with um, a certain amount of adrenaline, you might be able to function and even to fight back after being stabbed. So, surprise first one. I'm understanding I'm in trouble. Stop the danger from getting to your body. Stop the knife, first of all, with a defense and wrap the hand in order to neutralize the attacker. Maybe I'm simply gonna see the guy's actually punching me. Oh. Okay, but he has a knife, but I think he's just punching me. Does not matter. You have to train your body, to train your muscle memory to treat a punch exactly as a knife and continue with the same technique. Knife, I'm understand I'm in trouble. Defend. The other hand, pay attention. The other hand is protecting my face, so if he's going towards my face, I have something to protect it. Wrapping the hand in order to stop the attack. A simple defend, even if an attack coming after it, is not always neutralizing the guy. The only way to really neutralize and to stop those stabs are actually to wrap the hand and attacks, okay? You might be able with reaction and attack maybe to get away, but if the guy is going 100% and, and your attacks are not affecting him enough, the only thing you could do, as we say, is to wrap the hand close to your body, from there to your own attacks, create leverage if needed, and take control of the situation. Thank you guys for joining our Krav Maga class. You guys can stay tuned and check out our Facebook and YouTube page and learn more Krav Maga tips and lessons. Thank you.